All right, JT, thanks for taking the time to speak with the group here. Yep. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your patience. We are now joined by goalkeeper JT Marcinkowski. Let's begin with Jamin Moore. Hi, JT. Thank you for taking the time to join us tonight. And sometimes we have to talk to you after a tough loss. Congratulations on a clean sheet. Two straight wins at home. Um, you know, from your perspective, this uh, kind of change in tactics in front of you uh, under Alex Cabello, how is the team adapting so far? And is, is tonight a good indication of what you expect to see from this group going forward? Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the guys have done a great job during the transition. Um, it's definitely not easy. Um, we owe a lot to, to Matias and his staff. Uh, I think a lot of how the way that we pressure and the way that we defend um, is a lot to do with a lot of credit to them uh, for teaching us over the last you know, three and a half, four years. Um, but with, with Cavello's system, I think it's a little bit just more structured, um, a little bit like less is more approach, I would say. Um, and so, yeah, I think, I think it's a, this is a good indication of how we'll play moving forward. I think every game presents a different challenge, so it's not going to be exactly the same thing every single time. But, you know, just adjusting on the fly, and uh, we'll look back on the film, and there's plenty of things to correct, and there's plenty of things to work on, and um, we'll get right back at it tomorrow. Thank you, JT. Let's go next to Alex Morgan. Hi, JT. Congratulations on the victory, and thank you for speaking us. Uh, to us tonight, uh, you know, can you talk? About, I'm, I'm curious a little bit about the the build up because it felt like tonight you were able to find guys like Jan Gregoosh uh, in the middle and able to build the ball through the middle, uh, you know, more quickly. I, I, I'm curious how the build up has changed uh, over the last couple uh, weeks. How you guys are approaching the build up uh, a little differently, uh, and, and and how it felt tonight uh, working the ball out of the back. Yeah, I mean, I think it's a little bit the same. The same answer is. Every game is a little bit different. Uh, tonight, I think Colorado uh, gave us a few chances to go to go through the middle, but also finding our outside backs, especially in the first half. Uh, they transitioned to a five in the back, so it was a little bit tougher um, in the second half. But um, you know, these guys are really good in front of me, and Jan, Jackson, Miro, Eric. Um, you know, they're great players, and they find good spaces and they find good pockets to be in. And um, it's our job in the back to give them the ball because they're the ones who create all the danger. And um, you know. That's why they're here, to, to link the, the defending side of, the, of our game to, to the attackers, to Jabo, to Kay, to Benji, to Christian. Um, I think it was a really great team, team effort tonight. And, um, you know, it starts with, with Calvo and Nathan on the back having a stellar performance. Thank you, JT. Next question from Fabian Rankle. Uh, Fabian, we'll come back to you. Let's go to Michael Roberson. All right, JT, um, how much pride do you uh, take in getting that clean sheet, uh, especially when it leads to a victory? Um, very close game today, but you were able to keep them out of the net. So how much pride do you take in getting that clean sheet? Yeah, I mean, I think the clean sheet's a great representation of how, how well the team defended. Um, I thought... We really worked together tonight, and um, we clicked on a lot of cylinders that we've kind of been missing. Um, so I think having a zero in the back is just a, a culmination of all the effort that the guys put in in front of me. Um, I'm, at, I'm just out there to try to you know, help the team in any way that I can, and uh, whether that's a clean sheet or whether that's a 4-3 victory, it doesn't really matter to me as long as we get a win. Thank you, JT. Let's go back to Fabian Reckle. Hey, JT. Thank you for your time. and. Congratulations on the clean sheet. Thank you. I wanted to ask you, is the next clean sheet coming this Wednesday versus the reigning CONCACAF champions? Thank you. <laughs> that would be nice, wouldn't it? Um, obviously, we'll have to, you know, watch a little bit of film from this game, and then we'll, we'll approach the Open Cup as, you know, as a tournament game, and it's a one and done. It's a final, and uh, we'll, we'll treat it as such. Um, I think we'll go up to Seattle with a great mindset and uh, continue to build on from tonight in the past, the past few games. Um, I'm sure there'll be you know, biting at the bit to, to play us again after, after, beating, or after we beat them uh, last, last home game. So, uh, but we'll, we'll approach it like, like every other game. Uh, we'll go out there and, you know, impose ourselves and, and get after it. Thank you. Thank you, JT. We're going to take two more questions, starting with Paula Maruri. 
Congratulations. Um, what was the key factor to manage your level of concentration in the game? Thank you. Yeah, good question. Um, I think this is something I've been working on the past uh, two years or so is just my uh, my mindset going into games. Um, I think it's a huge part of of every position, but especially goalkeeper, is your ability to stay focused throughout the 90 minutes. Um, you know, it's communicating with your back line. It's, it's trying to see things before they happen. And, you know, it's also just being in a good mental headspace, uh, thinking positive thoughts, not dwelling on a mistake, not dwelling on the past, but uh, continue to look for you know, the next, the next success, anchoring myself, myself on, um, you know, the things that I work on and the things that I'm good at and, and then go from there. Um, every game's a different challenge, but I'll, I'll see things that I've never seen before, um, whether it be a Wednesday, whether it be Saturday, but, you know, you just kind of, you adjust on the fly and you go from there. Thank you, JT. One final question coming from Jamin Moore. Hey, JT, thanks for taking one more. Uh, I'm curious, uh, just in, in terms of the change, you know, from Matias to, to Alex, how has that changed your particular role in terms of the way that you communicate? And has it also changed the way that you're typically seeing the ball when shots are taken and the types of movements that players are making in front of you? Have you had to make any adjustments to that? Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think with every coach, there's a little bit of, of something different. And, my, my communication is really dependent on how, how we want to play and the shape that we want to maintain. Um, so I think we want to keep our, our fullbacks a little bit more tucked in, uh, a little bit more compact. So I'm constantly talking to Marcos or Paul or Tommy and uh, making sure that they know who's behind them. Or same with Calvo and Nathan to make sure they know um, what runner's coming. And, and tonight it was Jossie, John Lewis, um, Barrios when he came in. So just doing my best to, you know, to make sure that they know what's around them. And, um, but it's also dependent on how, how the other team plays. Um, if they're playing with two forwards, then my communication is a bit different with the back line compared to if they're playing with a, a 4-3-3. Um, so it's just knowing what, what they're going to play and trying to see things before they happen, like I was just talking about. And um, for me, I think ideally, if, if I get a clean sheet with, with zero saves, that's the best game for me. And I think that's all up to communication.